Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandra Anelli. If you're new, you can call me Alex though, because we're just like that type. So today I wanted to share with you my bougie on a budget faves, I guess. This is kind of a favorites video. It's really just like the products that I use on honestly a daily basis to make myself feel like extra, but without spending so much money. All right, so the first thing that I wanna start off with is a silk bathrobe. This was actually a gift from Huda Beauty, but I love it so much. Actually, I have two. One of them is not so bougie on a budget. It's a little bit more on the bougie side from Slip Silk. There's so many on Amazon that are like super affordable and they just like feel so nice. And what's so great about them is they're not like a heavy material. I'm never really like cold. So what I like about it is it's perfect for summer, you know? And you can kind of just like lounge around in it. It's something that's like fun and comfortable to get ready in when you're like fresh out of the shower, you're doing your makeup or your hair or whatever. It's just like nice and easy. If someone is delivering a package, I can like answer the door and not feel like I'm in my underwear. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to link all of the products that I'm talking about with like multiple examples down below for you guys to check out if you are interested. But um, this is my favorite one. Thank you, Huda, for sending this over. It's such a pretty like blush color and super comfy. Speaking of silk, the next one is a silk eye mask. Like, you can go on Amazon and pick up a sleep, sleep, silk, sleep, a silk sleep eye mask. Why am I saying sleep? The reason that I like got into silk eye masks, it just protects your under, like your under eyes are so delicate and I'm a stomach sleeper. Not great for my skin. So I'm constantly just like waking up with like my face pressed into a pillow like crazy. And if you want to get like real bougie, you can get the sl slip silk eye mask and the slip silk, <laughs> slip silk pillowcase which I have, but you can also get silk pillowcases on Amazon and I did that as well. So once again, I'm going to be linking all of that stuff down below and it is so much more affordable. So you don't have to go for like the name brand or whatever because Slip Silk is like in right now, but this one is pretty fantastic. All right, next up is something that I use literally daily and I'm talking sheet masks. Basically any mask is going to like make you feel fantastic, but there's something about sheet masks. It's like you're at the spa. I have a range here, but my favorites are Av Avatera, which I get at Target. I think they're like four bucks tops. So they're super cheap. And my second choice is the egg cream mask. I think these retail for a little bit cl mm. Sometimes you can get them cheaper on Amazon. I'm gonna link that below. That's Sephora. I think it's, is it 20 dollars? Maybe it's 25, maybe they average five bucks, but they're still affordable. And this one is so creamy. It makes me feel like, oh, uh, when my skin like really needs that pick me up, I go for this, like when I'm desperate for hydration, but these are great for a daily basis. They also have a pore refining one. So that's just like, you're doing a little mini spa at home. Also, these are by Pure, Pure, I believe, just P-U-R. I also get them on Amazon. These are little gel under eye masks. I don't do these all the time, but I keep a bunch in my fridge. So when I do want to, or if I just feel like I need to pamper myself, I'll take some out of the fridge. They're nice and cool and I'll place them underneath my eyes and then I'll put one of these on top. And I mean, we are relaxing. Next up in my skincare category, I guess, would be the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. It makes you feel like hydrated. <laughs> when your skin is hydrated, when you're like making sure that you're taking care of your skin on the regular, like you're doing sheet masks, you're exfoliating, you're moisturizing, it literally just makes you feel like you're spending your time at the spa. So if you have a day to just like relax and do all that kind of stuff, it's great. But we don't all necessarily have like a day to dedicate to doing all of those things. So what I love about the Jergens Wet Skin is you can apply this when you're in the shower when your skin is already wet what you do is after you take a shower turn off the water your skin is still damp you're going to take um i don't know how much you're supposed to use use a dime size amount on each arm and a quarter size on each leg if that gives you a good amount i use way too much of this but that's you know that's how i do things anyway they have a bunch of different like scents they smell delicious and it leaves your skin feeling nicely hydrated without feeling heavy so it's perfect for summer all right guys next i want to mention the fountain of truth hand cream so Juliana Rancic launched her own skincare brand. It's called Fountain of Truth. It's all about clean beauty. And she has this hand cream, which like super cute. It's banged around in my purse so much. So it's like in kind of bad shape. It smells like jasmine and vanilla, but like a really nice, like light scent. It's super creamy. It just like makes my skin feel so good. You don't really need that much. And it's just, I think, honestly, I think it's just the scent, but it's like such a nice thing to just like keep in your bag. Cause like hand creams can be so boring, you know? And I, I have such a hard time finding good ones, but this one, 
Every time I put it on, it just smells so good. So yeah, this is just another like moisturizing skincare product that makes me feel like mm, super bougie, you know? That's scent. Finally on the skincare front, I don't know why this makes me feel bougie, but it does. So there are these deodorants from La Vanilla. I get them at Sephora. This is the pure vanilla scent. I think it's the original one. And then they have the Sport Lux, which smells like fresh laundry. But the pure vanilla scent is just like, I don't know, it's just so clean. It's kind of like, okay, I don't love the smell of baby powder, but it's got a little bit of that, like kind of a powdery, like, I don't know, it's just very soft. Oh, with just like a hint of vanilla. And it just smells so good. And what I love about this is that it's made with, I believe, essential oils, mineral oil free, no chemicals, no aluminum. This is a deodorant and not an antiperspirant though. So don't get shit twisted. I apply this when I'm like kicking it at home or if I know I'm not gonna be sweating, you know, that kind of thing. But what I love about it is that it's hydrating. So once again, we're just kind of like taking care of our body. You know what I mean? Anyway, I love both scents, they're fantastic. But that leads me to the Healthy Fragrance, also by La Vanilla. This is the original pure vanilla scent, which I just love so much. They're not too expensive. Mm. The scent itself is slightly more cotton candy -y than the original pure vanilla deodorant. The reason that I'm mentioning this is because when I get out of the shower, once I've moisturized and done all those things, I like to spray this on my like pajamas or on my like bathrobe and just feel clean. And I know it seems, now like, this is bougie, honestly, like spraying yourself with a perfume when you're home alone, not doing anything, chilling with a sheet mask. That's bougie, but I love it. And this is literally why I got this fragrance. So you can get it on Amazon for $36. So it's not like so cheap, but it's not a ridiculous amount as far as like perfumes go, you know what I mean? Like I spend at least $100 on my perfumes. Um, that's really up to you, but I enjoy it thoroughly. The deodorants are $14. So once again, it's like a little bit more expensive than like a regular deodorant, but I feel like I spend 10 bucks on my like regular deodorant and I wear these so much more and they've lasted forever. These are the first ones that I've purchased. I think I could be lying to you. Just kidding. I've had these. These are my second ones, but the first time I heard about this was from Jaclyn Hill and I bought them and those lasted me forever. I literally wear these like every day. I rarely wear regular deodorant. I don't like regular deodorant. Okay, it just doesn't feel good. Anyway, fragrance, perfume, when you're home alone and nobody can smell it but you. Let's talk about essential oils. You can't see this. Why did I do a black background for this video? This is so stupid. This is a little diffuser that I got from Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks tops. I'm gonna put it down because it's actually got stuff in it. The best thing about diffusers is that it's just letting out mist so you don't have to deal with like burning candles. Personally, I think burning candles is really bad. You're burning smoke. You know what I mean? Like when I was living at my parents' house, <laughs> after I moved out, my dad like washed my walls and so much like soot came off of them because I used to burn candles like a mad person. I just think that burning candles is like not good for your lungs and you shouldn't do it. The next best thing is really essential oils. My favorite essential oil to burn in that is rose. Sometimes I'll do like a rose lavender at night or something like that. I do have vanilla. Uh, I think I have like a citrusy orange. I've got eucalyptus, tea tree, and then extra bougie and not a budget. My favorite thing to put in there. And I don't even think you're supposed to do this. This is the La, uh, La Labo. I don't know how to pronounce that. La Labo. Sent 33. This is the massage and bath perfume oil. So it's technically like a skin oil, but I put a couple drops in there every once in a while and it just makes my... This shit is not budget friendly, okay? Shit is expensive, but I'm just saying that's how I like to use it sometimes. Just saying. You gotta include some actually bougie things in this video, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so if you don't want to deal with a diffuser all the time, like filling it up, cleaning it, it can be kind of annoying. These are the wallflowers. So it's a fragrance wallflower, kind of like a, like one of the plugins, but it doesn't smell shitty. Cause like, I don't know, whenever I go to like Walmart or Target and I look at those like Glade plugins, not great. You don't have to burn candles. They have like cute little diffuser plugins. I have a couple that I'm gonna like pop in so you can look, they look like little like planters with like little succulents and stuff, so cute. And they always have different styles. They have a million different fragrances. It's so nice. This is Champagne Toast. Can't even like think of all of them, but for winter is when I got obsessed with them. It was like marshmallow something. Oh my God, it was so good. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Toasted marshmallow or something like that. Fireside, marshmallow fireside. So good. One of my favorite, absolute favorite scents. I constantly have them plugged in just like all over the place because they just make your apartment smell or your home smell so Oh, good. They last for, I would say at least a month. I think they last like a month and a half, maybe two. I would say at least a month. Yeah. No, more than that, because I plugged these ones in when we first moved in and I've still got a lot. So two months probably, 
when this one that I plugged in is gonna run out. It's really good. Did I tell you where to get those? Bath and Body Works plugins. What are they called? Wallflower plugins. That's what it is. All right, guys, the last one is so random, but like, I love it. My boyfriend introduced me to these things. This is a little milk frother. So this is for mil frothing milk, obviously. I got this on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. I feel like it was like 15 bucks. I should look it up. I'll link it down below, obviously. But this one's pretty intense. It's got two rings on it. And it also came with a little like milk thingy. So if you love coffee, which I do, or if you love like matcha, pretty fucking awesome, I gotta say. My boyfriend had one of these and he got me obsessed with like frothed milk. And I used to just put it in my coffee I also use it when like we have an espresso, so I use it for that, but it's just like so much fun. And it just like, if you drink coffee every morning, I don't know, it just makes you feel like more bougie, you know? Even if you're having like a regular coffee, you're not even making a latte, I'll do this. And it's just like, mm, you know, frothed milk, like so fancy. <laughs> All right guys, that's it. <laughs> I was just thinking about this. There's so many things that I love about, like I'm such a homebody. I'm very much an introvert. I like to be at home. I, I've always loved like, taking care of my skin, exfoliating, exfoliating, moisturizing, like, I don't know why, but I just, I've always loved those kinds of things, like little pampering and stuff. And I pretty much do that, use all of these products every single, I use these products every single day. So I just thought that I would share them with you. A lot of you guys wanted to see a favorites video. So I kind of thought that I would like combine the two concepts. Yeah, I'm, I know that once I upload this, I'm gonna be thinking of like so many other things. So please share with me what your bougie on a budget products are because I, constantly, constantly adding to the list, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Ugh. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me your bougie on a budget products down below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll have everything down below if you're interested in any of these products. The cat came in here and she's making noise. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. You know what I mean?